has long been believed that spiders cannot fly because they have no wings. But spiders can even go to new, far, resource-rich lands. Ballooning works as the silk strands catch the wind and drag the spider along the airstream. Many spiders use a silk spinning organ called a spinneret to make a web. Using a spinneret, spiders can control the properties of the silk fibers to meet the desired structure of the web. However, some spiders instead use their web spinning expertise to achieve hand gliding. Scientists have shown that spiders can sense the Earth's electric field and use it to fly into the air. The spider's hand gliding works in the Earth's electric field. To do this, the spider prepares a series of movements called tiptoeing. They stood on the tip of their feet and stab their abdomen into the air. And then, the spider creates a sail-like web that catches the air breeze. The spider is carried away by catching the vortex of a small, uplifting hairpin in the air. This allows the spider to travel as short as a few meters, or remote islands in the ocean. This way, spiders can escape from predators and competitors. Researchers have analyzed the nanoscale composition of fibers. They discovered that the crab spider spun about 50 to 60 extra fine fibers. This fiber is about 500 times thinner than a typical human hair. Studying spider ballooning mechanics will help us understand the ecological effects of spiders and the transported particles using air and ocean currents. <laughs>